तू चलता चल तू चलता चल तू चलता चल यार रुत्विक सर जय हिंद सर हेलो जय हिंद सर फर्स्ट थिंग आई एम हैप्पी टू हियर सर एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू फॉर थैंक यू सो मच या सर या सर sir uh, thank you very much for bringing us a practical guide to become an rp sir it was very very best book i think i have seen in my life present thank you so much sir uh, coming to my question uh, as a fresher uh, what is your suggestion uh, to you for a, to give for a fresher uh, when he or she going to ssd and second thing how to overcome that fear Uh, of SSD, uh, whether environment. How you tackle the fear uh, will depend upon your individual choices. How you do that, whether you yes. follow the three idiot suggested model of all is well, or whatever, uh, that you take your decision. There are several tips about it. I have written about stage fright, presentation nerves, and things like that. all these things are relevant yes. expectations from yourself and things like that you have to know that failure is possible for anyone yes why as by taking this pressure of failure you can only degrade your performance yes sir so if you just focus on doing the task then automatically your focus will get away from these things yes isn't it yes sir like i mean whenever i go and play a match i know that uh, you know my past record will not be of any help i have to yes, play sir. ball by ball and i have, i should not be bothered about the crowd watching and the opponent and things like that yeah true sir i just got to do my job just like jokovic or anyone else yes so do that fine and fresher is no different from a repeater because today information is available you all all of you know what's going to happen yes sir till now i have not come across a student who did not know about oir or you know tat srt wat everybody knows these things yes so kya repeater kya fresher sabko malum hai yeah true so you are knowing what is going to transpire yeah keep your wits about you that uh, since you thanked me for the book probably you followed us on youtube also do uh, you know uh, listen to our video about the screening process uh let it embed in your mind you know that to yes. the contingencies how you should act right yes sir so these are some of the thing which you should do and see and believe genuinely believe that is a good system is a uh, unique system in india which has been untouched by you know uh influences and things like that really where it is working so work to improve your basic competencies which i talked about and your selection chances should be good okay fine yes sir yeah thank you sir most welcome to vivek yeah dheeraj good evening sir good evening dheeraj sir i will be preparing for my second ssb in january in jalandhar so sir as a repeater sir i want some screening tips as rithik was asking for fresher so i want as a repeater see there is nothing like separate this thing the only thing is in the repeaters batch what will happen is that people will shout even more than the freshers i think you know about it the second yes, thing sir. is that the time for individual narration 
you may get around one minute as a fresher, but as a repeater, you may not get more than 40, 45 seconds. Why? So these are two things of differentiation which come to my mind. Balance, it is the same. So watch our video about the screening process. Let it embed in your mind. Follow the process, you know, sensibly without getting involved in out shouting business. Understand the concepts of scarcity uh, and abundance uh, mentality. You know, practice these things and uh, things should work out. Why? Okay, Thiras, thank you so much. Yeah, Nishal. Very good evening, sir. Good evening. Oh, you're a girl. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, now I don't know. Please go ahead, Peter. Uh, sir, I have a question uh, and a very deep doubt uh, since I'm following you on YouTube. So basically, I am doing job since my first year and I have only one source of income. So as you told us about being competent in your life, never attended any coaching classes because don't have so much leaves that I can attend the coaching classes. So my doubt is, so I have just cleared my graduation last year and I'm preparing for FCAT although and CDS as well, although I have NCC certificate, but I want to enter SSB by clearing the examination. So my Good. doubt is, yes, sir. So my doubt is that I have source of income. Earlier, I was paying my own tuition fee, I'm managing my expense. Now I'm also managing my sister expense. So my the only doubt is should I end this only source of income or should or should I sit at home and prepare for the examination? Because sir, this nine hour shift turns into 13 hour shift in a blink of an eye. And even after the shift, uh, it's always like being ex so much exhausted. And then I have to cook, I have to rest, and I have to study as well. Or uh, what I think that I should do, I should work harder for the examination also and do not end the source of income. But my parents, uh, they, they request me to just end the source of income and just prepare like other people. But after listening to your words, but uh, it also affecting my academics and I'm a bit confused uh, between this, like what should I do? Michelle, my broad advice to you would be the general advice and that is not to stop working. Because by working, you are enhancing your overall competence. And that is a big factor working in your favor as far as personality is concerned. So it actually gives you an edge over people who are not working. Because when you work in the field, you gain so much of knowledge and experience which you cannot pick up sitting at home. Yes. And financial independence adds to your confidence in a significant manner. So, try and get some leave or, you know, uh, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, exemption from your workplace to prepare. Yes, sir. You know, fitness watching. and, uh, you know, and uh, updating yourself with the GK and that is all you would need. Yes, sir. I'm very much aware of the factors of being competent in life as you have. Why um... Michelle? Yes, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. Got it. See, I, I'll tell you, my son has uh, written his CA examinations and all that. While he has been working, he has taken some exemption, say 15 days, 20 days, at times one month from his employer or some of these examinations. And with that, he has been able to manage. Last day exam, but the one next day office. Yes, sir. Same in the same way. I have completed my graduation, so I believe that I can do it now as well. I, I was Hello. just confused. Yes, sir. That, that would be my advice. Do that. You will be able to. Yes, you, your belief is correct. Don't listen to your parents. 
you, you will uh, the method you are following is on the right lines you should be able to manage i have personally also managed things in that manner also also done sir thank you so much for the advice most Bye. welcome nishal god bless and when you qualify everything please do come to the next knowledge ke baad ban gayi sure sir thank you so much sir most welcome beta god bless you know nishal i was just reminded of uh, you know recently i got a call from one person he called me uh, when he was about to get uh, passed out from ota he was medically boarded out and uh, he was very very low and he said now i want to give a retry and all that and i want to join your guidance program i spoke to him for a while and i said yeah you don't need any guidance you're good enough to get selected so i mean i will not be able to add any value to what you have you will make it just have self belief and carry on i just got a call from him few days back he has he was cleared for territorial army and he is number 1 in all india merit thank you thank you so much sir you have I, really cleared my only doubt i really had in my life about what to do thank you so much sir do you do you feel it makes sense what i am saying yes sir absolutely good luck god bless Thank you so